beautiful this is the Romy here and welcome back to seduce me the visual novel i am back pre-recording once again um don't quite remember anything like always but we are on sam's uh sam's journey and we're i'm guessing diana is about to rape us or, or something but i have like some some news there are happy endings because the lovely miss law commented on my video saying there is a happy ending if we get the happy ending we get like a special picture and then the trailer would come up and i just went back and tried to do damien's again and i still did not get the super happy ending so I don't think I will be getting on Sam's either. So it's kind of hard. Like I, I honestly don't know. Like I started all the way from the very beginning. Uh, for Damien when I was playing off camera. I was trying it and I couldn't get the happy ending. So this game is pretty hard. Like but then again. I'm, I'm not pretty good at visual novels from the beginning. I always get either the super sad ending. Or well this is the first time getting an okay ending. Besides, uh, Star, Sky, and Spring. I think I got a happy ending in that one. I, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Something bit my foot. Because now my foot's itchy. Mosquitoes and yucky. But we're going to start with Sam quite sad. I did. <laughs> that I finally found out. Like, she told me that there is a happy ending. If we get it, there will be a picture and then the trailer. So I'm kind of sad that I haven't gotten it twice already. And it's going to happen again. Because I think, like, the choices, I'm not, I'm not doing something correctly in the choices. But I don't want to cheat. So, <sighs> I'm going to try. Try real hard, but I think I should start from the way, way, way beginning to like first gain their hearts again instead of like doing it where she has to set the house up. So maybe I'll do that for uh, for damn, what's their name, Eric, the redhead guy? Quite sad because I wanted for Damien, but you know, I might just keep trying or just watch someone else complete it before me. So let's get started sorry for like rambling on for like three entire minutes so sorry but okay let's get started she must be here the thought of her in the house infuriated me beyond belief i had to make sure she was not here i rolled out of bed and quickly left my room watering the halls and listening closely she was a demon but i was listening very intently there was no way she would have been able to sneak up on me i know you're here where are you? I could feel myself growl. It wasn't a matter of fear that she'd take away the boys anymore. Her very existence had lit a fire of rage within my gut, which only grew as each day went by. This feud was getting on my nerves, and I knew it would not end well for one of us. I wasn't going to lose to that demon bitch. What the fuck do you want? Sam. My heart stopped. Diana was with Sam. My mind flew into slow motion, playing fake images of Diana trying to seduce Sam in my head to further fan the angry flame inside of me. I instinctively followed Sam's voice. I was approaching the grand lobby. I hide myself behind the corner of the hall, peeking into the space and down at the scene. I peeked inside to see Sam by the foot of the stairs with Diana sitting on the railing, looking to him. My, my, such a brute. Didn't your mother teach you how to treat a woman? She isn't here, and frankly, you shouldn't be either. Ah, I'm hurt. Wounded, truly. <laughs> like I care, you crazy bitch. <laughs> Pity. And here I thought I was going to offer you the chance to become something better than just a simple incubus. What was Diana going on about? More than just an incubus. She was insane. Like you got anything I care about. How about becoming the next demon lord? I froze. What did she mean? Becoming the next demon lord? The boys weren't in the demon world anymore. They had no claim to the throne anymore. Sam stared at Diana, which made me worried. You're bluffing. Well, currently, I'm the contracted bride to the heir to the throne. Since the throne is open, it's available to any son of the demon lord's line. Think about it. You'll gain the throne, the land, and a bride to continue your lineage with. Doesn't that sound like a perfect life for an incubus like you? I 
could feel myself gripping my fist tightly in anger. How dare this girl try to convince Sam to return to the demon world. He ran away from it. He didn't have to go back. He shouldn't go back. My mind began to wander, imagining him saying yes. He would leave and the brothers would follow to bring him back. They'd be trapped because of Diana. Because Diana would make sure they would, ne they could never leave. Sam would be the new lord with Diana as his queen. And I'd lose him. He must be crazier than I thought. What? Uh oh. I felt surprised. <laughs> I felt surprised run down my body again. Did I hear Sam correctly? He denied her. You dare deny. Oh, oh shoot, what the hell? All of a sudden, Sam's body disappeared, as well as Diana's. I blinked and saw Sam grip Diana by the neck, pinning her body to the wall near the dining room archway. Her feet couldn't even touch the floor, and I felt myself unconsciously wrap my neck at the side. At the site. For once in your life, shut your fucking mouth! See, Sam's Sam, um, storyline's so different from the two guys I read. I can see Sam's muscle tense and flex at holding Diana, wanting to tense even harder to snap her neck. You do not scare me. I could bring you to your knees and make you beg to return with me on a chain leash. Crazy. Then do it! I want to see you try to chain me! Sam glared at Diana stared almost in fear of him. I expected him to actually do it. However, a small breath of a moment. Sam smirked. <laughs> Called it. Sam then released Diana, leading, letting her body fall to the floor. Diana gripped her neck, coughing for air as Sam stepped back, glaring at her. You're out of power. You've been running without recharging and now you're on your last life. Shut up! Diana glared and stood up, flipping her hair back to its almost unnaturally sexy way. <laughs> sexy style, sorry. I love her, her hair though, it's like ombre. What's stopping me from taking your little human's energy? You go anywhere near her again and I will rip you apart. Heart, my heart. <laughs> the human girl? You must be joking. A human like her can't possibly provide you what you need. She is a human. You're a demon. Uh, I can't provide. He needs my love for his energy. See? Useful. I felt the urge to storm in a shut her mouth. It would give away my position, but I was growing extremely tired of Diana. Barge in, because we haven't picked this choice yet. Maybe, maybe I'll do something. Yes! Yes, it did! Maybe that's what I had to do! I don't, I don't know. I gotta be bold right now. I decided to be a surd and quickly stepped into the room, rushing down the steps to be in front of Sam. Diana and Sam looked at me in surprise as they glared daggers at Diana. I feel so upset now that I should have been bold from the very start, but since, like, naturally I would pick choices I personally would do, so I'm kind of like a shy coward. So sorry. If you guys ever in danger and we're like besties, um, I might be hiding a rock. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be behind. Oh, yeah. Don't don't count on me, okay? Especially if it's some horror freaky shiz. Don't count on me. <laughs> I decided to be assertive and quickly stepped into the room, rushing down the steps to be in front of Sam. Diana and Sam looked at me in surprise as I as I glared daggers at Diana. Get out. Get. Ow. Well, well, little human. You're awfully nosy in business that doesn't concern you. Uh, you put my name in it, so it does concern me. Does it? I don't think a human would understand the importance of this affair. A human is... A human brain is capable of learning and adapting, so I can't, okay? You're asking him to leave to be someone he doesn't want to be. That's not going to happen. Oh? And what makes you so sure about that? Because I love him. Yeah, totes. Totes love him. Sam forever. <laughs> Diana st stared in shock at my ex exclamation. Was it not what she expected? I didn't care what she expected. I wasn't going to lose the man I had grown to love. You love him? Yep. L-O-V-E. Yes, I love him. Diana's lips twitched, the edges curling to an amused smirk as she stared at me. So what? A human's love isn't enough to understand the situation. A demon can never reciprocate human feeling. Can they? How do you know that? 
To both of our surprise, however, Sam stepped forward and put an arm around me, pulling me close to his body. Oh my gosh. I love her. <laughs> Silent screams and squeals. I saw the confidence Diana had shattered, had shattered in her eyes as she stared at Sam, at his words. I could see the struggle in her face to try and find some weakness in Sam and me. Anything. A demon love a human? Impossible. This, I love stories like this, where it's like, people think it's impossible, but nothing's impossible, unless you try. You gotta try it, before you, yeah. Are you deaf? I said I love her. Oh my god. You don't have the brains to understand what love is. It's not just a human emotion. Demons like us can feel it too. You just have your head so far up your ass, <gasps> that you refuse to see it. Just like how you refuse to see that you've lost. Damn, dude. Diana took a step back, physically feeling the sting of Sam's words in her chest. She had lost. I could see it in her eyes. Diana's eyes grew dull as she glared at me and Sam. It seemed almost uncharacter uncharacteristic of her, yet it was something I wasn't surprised to see come from her face. Oh my god, my ringtone. Hold on. I should have mute the phone. Sorry! Sorry, sorry, I'm texting. It's really important. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I muted the phone, so Very no more. well. Fine. Vale. Vale. And with that, Diana faded into the ground into a purple pentagram, crossing her arms and almost looking upset. Sam and I were then left alone, left with the silence of the room. I finally let out the air I was unconsciously holding in my chest, relaxing from the ordeal. Sam stepped to me and held me gently, surprising me. You alright? Never been better, cause you're still here. <laughs> I nodded in response, unable to speak, so immediately after being surprised, Sam let out a sigh, relaxing in the embrace. I gently placed my hands around him, returning the embrace slightly. I wasn't sure what to do. All of this was spinning in my head in circles before I decided to simply look up at the man holding me. Sam pulled away slowly, looking into my eyes to reveal a deep love that haunted his green irises. All right, let's get you back to bed. Do you know how many times you put me back to bed and bad stuff happens? You should totally, like, sleep beside me. If you don't want to do that, you can just sit in the chair, you know, and just make you comfortable. Sorry, text. <laughs> so, so rude right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there no sound? Like, no, no, there was sound. It's just quiet right now, right? Right? Um. No, I, 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 I oh. Okay, oops. Sam then wrapped an arm around my shoulder and lowered his other arm underneath my knees. I easily held on to him as he lifted me up like a blushing bride and carried me out of the room towards my room. Okay. Sam was kind enough to know my mind and would not force the issue no matter what. He was too sweet and I didn't deserve his kindness. Sam gently lowered me to my bed before patting my head with a loving smile. I was beaming in happiness. As Sam turned to leave, I slowly sank into the covers, relaxing. The sound of footsteps echoed before finally I was alone. I rested my head against the pillows, enjoying the cool they provided as I closed my eyes. I'll be ready when I'm ready. Will it be soon? Who knew? All I knew at that moment was that I made a choice I felt was right. I will not leave here empty-handed. Yeah, this is the ending. I don't think I got the best ending. Frack! So upset! I tried to open my eyes at sound, but I felt my eyes remain shut. I instinctively went to move, but my body felt frozen. What was Diana doing? She was making love to me, and I don't like being used, okay? 
At least not by you. <laughs> I felt my body left up from the bed, leaving me to hover in quick and fear. I wanted to scream, but my voice was frozen as well. I felt Diana move to angle her face over mine. I wanted to move away, but at the same time I felt like I was blissfully melting in her gaze. Well, if I can't return home with the boys, I might as well return home with the power to fight back. <sighs> yeah, not me either. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Was this normal? Hell no. She was a major nut job. I relaxed slightly trying to sleep again. Thankfully, I succeeded. Okay, yeah, I didn't get the greatest ending. I'm so sad. <laughs> Especially that I learned that there is a happy ending. And I keep not getting... I, I, I'm not getting it. Not. I might have to go way in the beginning. Just before like I met them and all that. Uh, but I don't know if you guys want to see that. The rest of the story can almost be passed over. With Diana gone, my life returned to normal with school and friends, not remembering what had happened. It was as if magic never even appeared in my world. Sam cared for me, and we remained close to each other. It was sweet, like a simple fairy tale ending. He didn't step over my boundaries, and I deeply appreciated it. Sam remained faithful to me, leaving, loving with me, and serving me like a servant. Of course, there were some complaints, but Sam felt the need to pay back my kindness. I needed to help. I need the help around the house anyway. It was almost funny to think about it. A demon becoming a servant to a human girl. The others decided to leave on their own accord. They knew that my future would only need Sam at my side. So they even decided to start their own lives in the human world. Sam understood perfectly, wishing his brothers the best. And... This, we, we read all this. One morning I woke up and took in all that had happened as if it was all a dream. The demons, the devils, the magic. It was all, it, it all was sure, surreal <laughs> to believe. It almost frightened me to think that it could have been all a dream. My fears vanished, however, as a knock appeared at my bedroom door. Come in. The door opened to reveal Sam with a small tray of food for me. A vase with a green rose sat beside a hot plate of pancakes, eggs, and bacon, decorating my breakfast beautifully. Morning. Made breakfast. Morning, Sam. I simply smiled. It wasn't a dream. I still had Sam. I still felt the magic in the air around me. I wasn't alone. Sam walked over and placed a tray on the bed across my legs. Did you sleep well? Yep. Thought everything was a dream, but you're here, so it's a-okay. I did. I had a dream about everything that happened to us. Oh? What do you remember? Well, you... You, and you. Yep. <laughs> everything. How we met. How you cared for me. Everything. It almost made me believe it was all a dream. Sam smiled at me and ruffled my hair a bit, making me giggle. Well, this is a pretty good dream then, isn't it? Perfect. Sam gently kissed my head, making my heart flutter slightly. His devotion to me was beyond imaginary. That was my ha happily ever after. Did I get the ending? <laughs> so sad. Um. Um. Extras. Bloopers. Hmm. Ending video. Ah, <sighs> so sad. I haven't even gotten it. So sad. <laughs> Yeah. Listen to pictures. This picture is probably the ending right here. And something I'm not doing in this scene. Huh. Well. Hi, Damien. <laughs> and then Matthew. Yeah, something we're not doing here. Maybe, maybe we'll get it with Eric. Maybe. Probably. So... I was I, I, I was gonna ask you guys what do you think, but I'm pre-recording so you can't tell me what you think because I will probably already like do it beforehand. But um I guess I'm a I'm gonna just do my thing. I'm gonna go way back to to like to this, to the grandpa 
because this is when her grandpa passed away and all that and one of the choices i got to pick uh towards the beginning where i bump into them so maybe i could choose something one of those choices because i think like each choice will affect the uh, the heart because if you guys saw there was like a heart down here with their color so we're gonna try for eric um I can't promise that I would ever have a happily ever after because there's only two guys left. I'm really sad. But <laughs> even if the series end, like if the series end, I'm um, probably going to play this game off the series, like off camera, and try to find my happily ever after and squeal all over that until the game ends and it'll be quite sad. But I do have another visual novel lined up. But if you guys do have other visual novel games that you want me to try, because it's kind of hard finding, like, free ones. But, you know, <laughs> people I, people do deserve their money if they're working this hard. But I prefer visual novels like this. It's like you pick a choice and it leads you down to the path. I don't like ones... I, I've said this so many times. I don't like the ones that are, like, skill point set like oh you gotta get this and strength and this and like knowledge like no it's a visual novel i just want to i just want to read a book that i can control with my choices but thank you guys for watching next episode will be all about eric the mr flirty boy ah, i'm quite sad sam same story was quite touching i think like yeah I mean, all their stories are going to be quite touching. But of course, Damien will always be my <laughs> number one guy. But I feel like Sam's probably, probably tying with him, you know? But of course, Sam, he is, like, the main guy. The the guy you see in the animes, all tough and stuff. And then inside, they're like, a cuddly little panda. Cuddly, so cute, so cute. But, okay, I'm gonna stop talking. It's so much rambling. So, I'll see you guys next episode. Stay beautiful, and yeah, thank you for watching.